Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to do a bedside nursery tour of what I plan to do as soon as baby boy gets here. So let's hop on into the video. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys everything that's in my diaper cart. I have three big items here. Now you can kind of see in the background, um, I have the Halo Bassinest. Um, I have the Dockatot, and then I also have a diaper cart, and all of these things are going to go next to my side of the bed for when baby boy gets here, and this will all be within arm's reach for me. We do plan on co-sleeping a little bit, and when he's not in the Dockatot, he will be in the bass nest. We plan to have him sleep in our room for the first six months or so just because I plan on breastfeeding him and it is a little bit easier to breastfeed him in our room because I don't have a rocker or a glider or anything like that in the shared nursery which there will be a shared nursery tour coming soon for you guys and that is for both Kaya and baby boy's room but since there's not a glider in there like I said or a rocker um, I do plan on having him in here for the first six months or so to make breastfeeding a little bit easier at night. Okay, so getting into my items here. Of course, I have um, the Dockatot, which um, is pretty self-explanatory, I feel like, at this point. Um, everybody has them. The bottom on clips for when they get a little bit bigger. Um, I did not get a cover for my Dockatot, so I plan to maybe just use like the cup or pearl swaddles, lay those over the top, or even something like this. Just some kind of like stretchy um, material that will help protect the Dockatot itself, although everything is washable on the Dockatot. Um, it's just nice to have like a, a little extra protection so that the Dockatot is usable at all times. I am cramping you guys. I really hope I'm progressing or something because uh, I'm in pain right now. So this is my diaper cart. You guys, I'm so excited for this. I guess I have my boppy pillow back here too. I plan to bring this with to the hospital. Um, but boppy pillow, pretty self-explanatory breastfeeding. Um, it's super nice to have sitting next to the bed. I don't think that a boppy pillow is totally necessary. I feel like you could also use other things like pillows, blankets, etc. But if you get a boppy pillow gifted to you or if you happen to have one from a previous child, highly recommend keeping that next to your bed as well. If you're going to be doing like this like bedside um, like nursery similar to what we're setting up. Kaya is running around in the background, my three-year-old daughter. So if you hear her singing or screaming or she comes in in a leotard, you know what's going on. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start out with this top section of my diaper cart. In this top section of my diaper cart, I have my diaper caddy. Now, if you guys watched my um, my newborn baby boy haul, you will know that I got this diaper caddy off of Amazon. Um, and then right now, I just kind of have it filled with um, like miscellaneous diapers, I guess. This These are the... Um, the Huggies we plan to use. I am a huge Huggies person. I know a lot of moms are Pampers people, but I just can't get on the Pampers train. So I've got my Huggies for my diaper cake here, um, and then these are just miscellaneous diapers. I think there are a couple of Pampers in here um, that we received as samples and dog hair. That's nice. Um, <laughs> and then we, yeah, a lot of these are just samples that we received from um, baby registry boxes or just like miscellaneous um, packages that we've gotten in the mail and I've got a couple of um, wipe samples here as well. Water wipes are our favorite um, but my second favorite is the Huggies Natural Care wipes. They are a little bit cheaper than water wipes but some babies are more sensitive than others. So I like to have a couple different options on hand to see how his skin reacts um, to those wipes. So in this section, again, just wipes on top. I've got breast pads underneath um, so that I can easily access this at night or um, even that first week while I'm home, um, I tend to kind of lay in the bed a little bit more. So I'll have these within arm's reach for myself. And I think these are the Lansano brand. I can't remember. Um, <laughs> I can't remember for certain. They might even be the Up and Up brand. But um, speaking of breastfeeding, over in the other section here, 
kind of like a miscellaneous bin. Now this is like postpartum stuff in here, um, breastfeeding stuff, and then I've got a couple of things for baby that I want in like the top section that's super accessible. I've got um, Baby Avino in here. Uh, this is our favorite kind of lotion to use for baby when they are brand new. I usually reach for the, um, I think it's the eczema relief one, um, but this one, uh, some dear friends of ours gifted us, so we have this one for now, and I got, um, also this was in my newborn baby boy haul, um, but this is the Farmstead Apothecary baby powder. I've never used it before. I just saw it on Amazon, saw that it was 100% natural, and it smells really good, so we'll see how this works out for us. I'm not really typically like a big baby powder person, but I don't know. Amazon sucked me in again. Okay, so moving on to this like next little container that is empty right now. Um, this is actually usually filled with coconut oil and I like to use this for just miscellaneous things, mostly my nipples, but um, I'll use this even on um, a little bit of a diaper rash for baby. And now this is more so like postpartum and breastfeeding uh, items. So I am going to go through these um, rather quickly. I will have another video that I will label as my postpartum essentials and my breastfeeding essentials. And then I'll have another video coming out after I've been breastfeeding baby boy for a little while um, to do like a breastfeeding 101. And I'm hoping to combine my breastfeeding experience for my daughter and my breastfeeding experience with baby boy this time to see if I have any like ultimate breastfeeding tips for you guys. Now, we also formula fed our daughter, so I am not for one or the other. I think that fed is best. I am just personally choosing to do breastfeeding um, because I enjoy breastfeeding. So, but like I said, my daughter was breastfed and formula fed, and we enjoyed both. So these items in particular are for my postpartum and my um, breastfeeding needs. So I've got some of the Earth Mama Herbal Perennial Spray. This is Take Care down there. <laughs> this, I feel like, is um, self-explanatory. <laughs> Your nether regions are going to need a little extra love and care. So that is what this is for. I also have Perennial Balm by the same brand, the Earth Mama Organics. Um, this smells really good. It has a bit of like a menthol-y, minty scent to it. Um, super excited to try this out. I also heard awesome reviews from um, another gal that I watch here on YouTube, Life Forever Changed. I love her channel. Um, but only we have a serenade in the background. Thank you. So that is, um, yeah, perennial balm. Now I do have nipple butter as well um, from, it's not Earth Mama. Um, it's the Mother Love Nipple Butter, I believe. It's a little bit higher rating uh, uh, than the Earth Mama one on Amazon. So I did go ahead and order that one. And I have that one in my hospital bag right now. But that will go in here as soon as we get home. Okay, so I've got some. These are like ice packs for your breasts, essentially. For breastfeeding, because your breasts will get sore um, when your milk does come in. And we will have a mini fridge in our bedroom as well. Because the fridge is downstairs. And if I need these quickly in the middle of the night, Night, um, it'll be nice to have them in that mini fridge. I also have some soothing um, gel pads for um, breastfeeding as well. This is for like sore nipples. The first couple weeks when your nipples are getting used to breastfeeding, um, these are really nice to help soothe them. Um, and then I just have some like miscellaneous um, breastfeeding samples that I received again in the mail. So just like some breast pads and some more breast pads. So that is what's in this top section. So if I turn this on its side, you can see that it has like side pockets on it and inside of those side pockets I've got some miscellaneous items. I've got passies on this side and passies on this side. And then I have some PP teepees on the side here. Who knows if those are actually going to be useful, you guys. I just... Um, figured they were worth a shot. So that is what is in this top little diaper caddy. Now the middle section I have basically deemed as like my breastfeeding um, area. In that middle section I do have my breast pump. I chose to go with the Spectra. I think this is the S2. 
Um, yep, this is the Spectra S2 Plus, um, and it is not wireless. It does get plugged in, but I heard that the suction on this is wonderful. I also do have a Medela brand breast pump as well, and I will be using both of them. I'll probably keep one at my work, or one at my office, and then one at home, because I will be going back to work at eight weeks postpartum. So, um, but yeah, very excited to try this uh, new breast pump. I want to see how well it works. So I'll keep you updated on that. I've got, again, breast milk storage bags. And then I just cleaned these little Medela bottles. And again, I'll have um, a mini fridge up here so that I can keep any um, stored milk. I typically pump at night, but that's what I would do with Kaya anyways, is once she stopped her nighttime feedings, once she stopped her two hour nighttime feedings and moved more so to like a four hour nighttime feeding, I would still continue to get up every two hours. I had to, um, to empty out my breasts. <laughs> they filled up pretty quickly so I woke up and then I would I would pump at one session um, during the two hour and then the next two hour I would feed her and then two hours later I pump again etc etc I do plan to have a pumping routine out for you guys as well that won't be coming out until month two after baby gets here you want to let your supply naturally regulate itself before you start pumping um, that's what they say but um, I think I started probably pumping right around that three week mark I can't remember for sure but Regardless, I will be pumping, so these will be essential for me. Now in the back, um, I've got these two little um, like containers that I got off of Amazon. Everything you guys all, of course, have linked down below for you. Um, I've got these two little baskets though. This back one is mostly filled with um, like instructions um, and pamphlets that came with like my breast pump and such. And then I do have the Hakka um, back here as well. And this is going to be in my breastfeeding video, but this is just something that you attach to the breast that you are not feeding on and this will catch any additional letdown instead of it being caught by like your nursing pad um, and it just going into a nursing pad or breast pad or whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, Haka, I've heard super great things about. I'm really excited to try it out this time. And then back here, I also have the plug-in for my breast pump. Now in here, I've got a lot of baby essentials. I have some covers for these bottles that you see. Um, and then vitamin D drops for baby. Because if you are breastfeeding, you do need to supplement with a vitamin D drop. Your um, doctor, your pediatrician will tell you that um, before you leave the hospital. I've got some baby butt paste in here which honestly should be on the top but um, I've got some gas drops in here I've got a passy in here I've got some additional passies in here because we have so dang many passies um, I have a nasal aspirator most of the things in this basket came in my I believe it was like my my newborn essentials kit by little remedies um, we do use the Nose Frida as well, and I love the Nose Frida. Um, this just came in my essentials kit. And then we also have some additional gas drops. Yep, some more gas relief drops just in, a, in another brand. And then we've got some saline spray, some gripe water, and then um, acetaminophen for baby. So this is more so like the supplement and like the medicine area um, for baby boy with a couple additional passies. So in this bottom section, I have burp rags. Now these are just ones that I got off of Amazon. They are really nice and long, and I like that they um, fit over your entire shoulder. Some of them are so, some of them are so little, they don't even help, um, and then they're not absorbent. I can feel that they're going to be super absorbent. Um, they've got like a really soft material on the back here. Um, now down here I also have some muslin swaddle blankets, um, I have another copper pearl swaddle, and I have a matching hat for this too. And I have my, um, my baby carrier, now this is the Soli or Soli baby wrap, 
and I got it in the gingham check print. Um, my husband was so sweet and got this for me for Christmas. I'm super excited to wear my baby this time around. I did not do this with Kaya. So this is a new um, concept for me and I'm really excited to give it a shot. Okay, and last but not least, in this section down here on the bottom, I have a bunch of swaddles. Kaya loved to be swaddled up like a little caterpillar in a cocoon. Um, so hopefully baby boy does as well because I did stock up on swaddles. So here's a close-up of the swaddles I have in four different prints. Um, I believe they are an off-brand of the Swaddle Me, but I love them. So I'm hoping that the Velcro on them is just as good as the Swaddle Me ones, but love these swaddles that came in. And then of course for these swaddles, um, I do have another one of these like little um, felt bins, or I don't know if they're considered like felt I don't know I'll have them linked down below for you guys so if you want to get some for yourself you sure can and then the diaper card itself is from Target it's like $30 it's super affordable the majority of these items are very affordable and can be found on Amazon and again I'll have everything linked down below you want to come say hi and Kaya is in her like dance leotard you are such a goon you know it is like 12 degrees outside today yeah doesn't phase us minnesota people i guess it does phase me though when i'm like 38 weeks pregnant and none of my jackets fit me so i can't even keep warm when i go outside so when i go to work i'm like freezing cold on the way there so now i'm gonna hop in and i'm gonna show you what this looks like set up next to my bed and I will show you the halo bassinet all set up as well. Okay, so I apologize for my messily made bed, but this is kind of how I'm going to have things set up. Um, I do have a fan here in the corner, which I plan on taking down um, once baby boy gets here. I've just been really overheated at night with being super pregnant. So I'll have my boppy pillow here. Now, I just put the dock tot in here. I won't actually have the dock tot in here. The dock tot will go on the bed in between my husband and I right here. I'll have the bassinet nest right next to the bed. I don't have a ton of room on my side of the bed. So when I wanna get in and out, this is the space I have to get in and out. Um, but this kind of swings around and comes right next to the bed. So when I'm sleeping, I can just reach over, put them right in here from where I'm laying. And then if I need to get out, I can just push this back and go to the bathroom. Super easy to reach for baby in the middle of the night. This does push down as well, so you can reach in and grab him. And over here, of course, is where I will keep my diaper cart. The reason why I have my breast pump stuff here um, and my swaddles and burp rags closer to the bottom is because those are not things I will necessarily be grabbing for in the middle of the night. I will keep one burp rag on top at a time as I need it. Um, and then if he's gonna be swaddled, um, he'll be in one of these swaddles already. So those aren't things I'm going to necessarily need to grab for in the middle of the night. Maybe my breast pump later on, um, but I can still reach this one. I cannot reach the bottom, but mostly just for diapers and um, wipes is what I will need like nightly access to. And then we do have a diaper genie behind me um, next to the mini fridge too. So, and of course I've got, right now I've got my, um, my mother's special blend oil for my stretch marks and my growing belly. I've got my hemp lotion Kleenexes. And then I also have an essential oil diffuser over here, which don't worry guys, I will make sure that whatever I'm diffusing is good and safe for baby and I wait until he is old enough to be around the essential oils. So anyway, yeah, this is my setup, you guys. I'm super excited. I'm super happy with the way things turned out this time. Last time we just did a pack and play and it was a totally different setup. So very happy with the way that this is turning out this time. All right, you guys, well, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my bedside nursery tour. I hope you found some of those products to be useful, some of the information to be useful. This is my second time around. I kind of feel like I know what I'm doing a little bit more 
but of course everything's always like a trial run so we'll see how this goes I will keep you guys updated and let you know how functional this is I know it doesn't look like I have a ton of room to get in and out of the bed but it should be plenty for me um, again I'll keep you guys updated I'm really hoping that it is as great as I think it's going to be again thank you so much for tuning into today's video if you are not yet subscribed to my channel I would love if you joined my little family here on YouTube I just started this channel back in the beginning of November really kicked it off and I've really been loving the content I've been making for you guys and I've been loving the feedback and the interaction it's just such a wonderful community and I've wanted to create a little community here where we can support each other as mamas and as women and be positive and uplifting and have each other's backs if you like this kind of video on my channel be sure that you give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below I will see you guys back on Monday for my 37 week bump date lots of stuff is going on I'm super excited I'm currently 38 weeks and I am cramping like crazy right now sitting here so really it could be any day all right guys I will see you Monday, I gotta go see what the heck this little squirrel is getting into in the background because she's quiet and it's not good. It's not good. Okay. <laughs> Bye guys. What a wonderful world.